Here we are, boys. Rave. We're doing the Rave Easter Egg and Director's Cut. And I'm playing as Kevin Smith. Let's go. I'm gonna remake your film from the inside out, Willard. This is my first time playing as him. Oh, did I get an achievement for that? Yep, there we go. Okay, let's go. This e is gonna be easy as hell, bro. In Director's Cut, bro, this e is already easy without it. Now I can just start opening the doors and everything. I'm gonna kill these zombies until there's one left and then I'll start opening the map up. Okay, so I have a confession to make. During this first run right here, I actually failed. And the reason why I failed is because I went into the boss fight underprepared. Long story short, I realized that I could do the boss fight on round one if I wanted to. And I really wanted to get it done on round one because I thought it would be cool. And I tried to get the bows out of the box to make it easy for me, but the boss just didn't give me any freaking bows, even though I hit it a lot. So I went into the boss fight with the guns that I had because I thought that it was gonna be easy enough to do it with what I had but it turns out that my guns were actually ass in the boss fight and they could hardly kill the zombies so it was really really hard to feed the freaking skulls and then I pretty much just ended up going down in a really dumb way in the boss fight and I kind of gave up because I realized that it would be really hard to do it with the guns that I had but the reason why I am showing you guys this right now is because there were a few things that happened during this game that I thought were kind of interesting and because they were things that I experienced for the first time and I wanted to show you guys some of these things before we go into the actual attempt where I actually beat it so let me go ahead and show you guys some of these clips real quick and then we'll move on to the actual attempt where I actually beat it let's go ahead and play this little game right here we can get some points right here oh why is there a talisman on it what the heck was that for I've seen that before in a video but I don't I've never seen it in game that was kind of weird <laughs> oh wait i'm in director's cut and i can just pick this up now oh i'm keeping it i don't give a f let's go we're gonna take this as a freaking boss fight i don't give a f this is cool now that i have director's cut i can just pick this up i did not know that now that is a reward if i'm if i tell you what oh my god that's my melee this hockey stick yep let's go did he just say that <laughs> Did he just say- wait, no. I think he just said I'm fat man, not Batman. I'm fat man. He, he did say it. I'm fat man. I'm fat man. I'm fat man. That's the best f quote, bro. Why don't they do more funny shit like that in oh zombies? God. Just dumb shit. I'm fat man. All right, <laughs> now let's get to the second attempt. We're going forward again, playing as Kevin again. And I got an idea, a strategy that I'm gonna use to get a dope pack weapon really easily. And I know it's a good weapon and I can get it off the wall. So yeah, here we go. Round one, I'm gonna punch these zombies until there's one left and I'm gonna open the map up and get everything set up. By the way, before I went into this game, I actually sat there for like 20 minutes trying to figure out exactly what cards I wanted to use for this Easter egg to make it easy for me and to also make it more easily for me to get it done around one. I just wanted to let you guys know that. But yeah, after I punched all the zombies and then saved one, I started opening up the doors to go ahead and start setting up the freaking map. And as I was opening up these doors, I picked up two boat parts, I picked up the eight ball charm, and I used my get packed card, which is pretty much the same thing as wall power from BO3. And by the way, if you didn't know, when you open these doors up on round one, I don't know if it works on any round, but when you open these doors up, your fate and fortune card meter fills up really fast. And that's how I was able to use that card so fast. And that's how I'm going to be able to use all my other cards in round one is mainly because of that. But yeah, after I did all that, I decided to go ahead and immediately go get the gun that I planned on buying with this get packed card right away. We're going to buy this weapon over here. I hope this is a good idea. It's on the wall. The Reaver. It's a good shotgun that kills zombies really easily. And I'm thinking if I get a double pack of punch, I can uh, feed those skulls and set the boss fight really easily. If I don't get a bow and I, and I have to use a gun. Because I'm trying to get this done on round one. I think it would just be cool. Use this real quick. There's that freaking, oh. Lobby music, that's what that's for. Okay, I did not know that was a thing, but okay. Let's go. On this part of the video, all I really did is I grabbed the last boat part and then I headed down towards the lake to go ahead and get on the boat. It's also on the wall right here, okay. Before I got on the boat, I went ahead and I used my coupon clipper card and I made sure to grab that pack punch reel. Awesome. Maybe you can get the dial up modem 
Talk to Kevin. Uh, this is really f***ing weird, Kevin. Okay, now it's clear that I've been in this damn movie way too long. I'm you, man. I'm you from the future, only slightly thinner. You just need to know that we're gonna kick Willard's ass, okay? Oh, and be nice to Sally, AJ, Andre, and Poindexter. They're, they're just here to help. Well, who the hell are they, Kev? Oh, my friend, you're gonna find out. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Kev. On this part of the video, I wasted too much time inside of the Pack-A-Punch room and it ended up kicking me out. So I had to wait for it to recharge before I could go back in there. And while I was waiting, I picked up a little weenie just in case I ever needed it. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> yo. After I finished pack a punching my reaver, there were a couple of things that I did during this part of the video. The first thing I did is I used my temporal increase card because when I pack a punched, it filled my meter up all the way. The second thing I did is I activated the deer challenge board, which is the one that gives you the repulsors. And then the third thing I did is I went and finished the little Easter egg for the eight ball charm and I put it on my reaver. After I did all that, I went to go pick up the first picture for the Easter egg. All right, let's grab this last photo. Did I just say last photo? I mean the first one. <laughs> Doing the Easter egg again. On this part of the video, I went around looking for windows that I could use for this challenge, and I got it down to 33 window boards. And then I was about to go hit the box, but then I realized that it would probably be better if I just used a simple wall weapon for these rituals. I could literally use this for shooting them in the arms and then grab the smiley as my meal kick and then go do this um, ritual. This zombie bro. Fail this. Come on, bro. The zombies are just so slow. And it's already gone, bro. Dude, zombies are just too slow. Like, oh my god, spawn in faster, holy shit. And you have that one zombie that actually is running and it's being annoying as hell. I mean, I like that they're walking. I just wish that they would spawn faster. Come on, we're almost there. Okay, let's go, let's go. Now get his ass. Let's go. Give me that. Now let's go talk to Kevin. Right now I'm just waiting until I get my Black Friday card to go hit the magic wheel. Um, yep, talk to him. This is where it all started for me. Thank you. Seriously, you didn't have to do that. For me. The diet, I need some perk candy. <laughs> he just said that, bro. After I got done talking to Kev, I went and picked up the frog charm off of the green chair, and then I went to go build some more window boards. I need to get this challenge done. I don't need to, but it would just be a little bit of an extra help just to have those repulsors. I continued to build more window boards and I got it down to 15 and then I went to go pick up the second picture. Oh yeah, the picture right here. Chapter two. I like how he just goes, chapter one, chapter two. I'm fat man. I'm fat man. 
I guess we could could go ahead and just do this. Did he just say give yourselves to Willard? <laughs> voice. Was it wasn't that Willard's voice? Okay, why are these zombies not working right now? They're not doing anything. I'm shooting them in the leg. Last time it worked, now it's not. I'm using the shotgun. It's working on the shotgun. Okay, I was testing to see if it was a certain gun. I shot him in the chest and it didn't work. It's actually the legs. It's just certain guns don't work. Certain guns do. I'm trying to hurry up. That's why I'm killing them so fast. They just didn't want to spawn. That's what I'm saying, bro. On this freaking... When you try to do it on round one, they just don't want to spawn fast enough. I think you also got to wait till they're in the map. Or at least, like, I don't know. Because I think you can shoot them behind the rail and it'll work. You just got to, like... I don't know. It's kind of weird how it works. I don't even know exactly. Okay. I can use my Black Friday card when I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Wait for the rave to go away. Okay, now. Get his ass. Let's go. Yeah, I literally lost this perk. And I lost Bang Bangs. That's an important perk. I just bought it, but the animation didn't do anything. Wait, did I just remove it? Wait, what just happened? It's not letting me buy it. It's just taking my money. The heck? Is that a f glitch? Bro, I just... I just... Lost 4,000 points because of that. I guess I'm just not going to have Bang Bangs. Even though it's a really important perk. Like my gun's going to be a lot weaker now because of it. On this part of the video, I went and I placed down the frog charm. Then I picked up the fish charm. And I went and did a little easter egg for the fish charm. And I picked it up and put it on my M1. After that, I went to go talk to Kevin again. So I could go ahead and spawn in the last part, which is the skull. Talk to Kevin. To take in, but you need to know the truth. Thanks, but uh, I think I'm going to need a little bit. Yeah, the skull's down here. And that's a wrap. Time to have a little heart to heart. We're about to use the magic wheel. We're gonna just see if we get lucky. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and finish the um the skull ritual. Because I want to make sure that I have a gun that I can do that with. And I'm gonna use this M1. Well, I mean you can do it with any gun as long as you can headshot. But I just want to play it safe. Go ahead and get it done. Headshotting them and they won't f go in. Please don't run out of time on this one out of all of them. There we go. Okay, now run away. Here we go. Okay. Give me that. Kevin turned into the f slasher. I tried running him, but he caught up to me. Whatever he had become. Let's go ahead and do this frog thing. I heard, I heard sound, that was it, right? The sound is very faint, so it's hard to hear, but there's like a little like spiritual wispy sound that you hear that lets you know that you finished it. I'm about to do this. If I don't get the freaking bow out of the box, I will go to the next round and I will get these bows. I know how to make them and it's not hard. 
So yeah, on this part of the video, I went ahead and I got the Vlad unlocked and I put all the statues next to the stage just in case I actually needed to make my own bow. Also right here, I finished the challenge for the repulsors and then I went to go hit the box and use my fire cell card to see if I could get lucky and get a bow. And to be honest, on this part of the video, I didn't even know if there was a bow in the freaking box to begin with because I hadn't seen one yet. But then I ended up seeing one on this part and then I knew I made may actually get lucky and not have to make my own bow. Oh, I saw one. Yeah, they're in there. You just gotta get lucky. So yeah, right here, I ended up hitting the box a total of 13 times and it did not give me a bow and I ran out of money. So I sat there and I thought about it and I made the hard decision to say, screw doing the Easter egg on round one. I'm going to make sure that I actually beat it this time and I'm going to go ahead and start making a freaking bow. And it took me all the way until round five until I finally finished making the whirlwind. And while I was making the whirlwind, I was using the gems that I got to try and make a balloon trap just so I could have it as an extra thing in the boss fight just because. Also, somewhere on this part, I went ahead and I picked up my repulsors and after I finished making the whirlwind i went and i used the final gem that i needed to make my balloon trap there's my balloon trap and there my emblem bro lego now on this part of the video i decided to go ahead and use the money that i'd earn throughout these rounds to hit the box and see if i could get lucky and get a bow just to see what would happen and it turns out i actually got lucky and i got a second bow and it was the ben franklin and then after i got that bow i sat there and i started thinking about my reaver and i was like wait a second what if the reaver sucks at shooting the symbols off the super slasher because I've already tried it and I'm pretty sure you can't shoot the symbols off of the bows. So you have to use a gun. And I was like, what if it sucks? I already know I probably have to get close because it's a shotgun. And that's going to be scary because the slash is probably going to try to slam on the ground and freaking get me while the zombies are freaking attacking me. And so I sat there and wondered whether or not I should trade it out for something on the wall. Just something simple that I could use to shoot the symbols off of the slasher from far away. But then I thought about, well, I already used the get pass card and the coupon clipper card on this freaking gun i really don't want to just throw it away like that and it took me a minute but then i came to the conclusion and i was like Fuck it i'm gonna go with this gun let's do this sh Fuck it i'm gonna use this but let me see is there anything else i want to do before i go in no nope, i think i got everything Let's go. You know what we could do? I should remember this. Probably should have waited for the zombie to get farther away though. I was gonna just, I can go hit the box one more time if I wanted to. Maybe I get something crazy. Oh, you do not want that. <laughs> Hey, nah, f that shit. We going, we going to the boss fight right now. No bang bangs, but f bang bangs. This one's gonna blow your mind, Kev, but don't worry, man. This nightmare's almost over. No way. Not Jay. I gotta find Jay. Jay! Yeah, yeah. Oh, God! Oh my girl. Here we go, boys. We got this. There's a skull right here. Okay, that one's done. Come over here, zombies. Using my evade card. Now I can like, kind of like do some exosuit shit. Evade. Okay, there we go. Now we need to get him to stand in this.
Got him. Oh. We really need to get the symbols off the phone. I got one. Okay, I think it does make it easier to get him off. I kind of got that one really easily. Just gotta get close to him. Play this safe. Take my time. Got that symbol. Gotta remember I have this evade card too. Got that symbol, I think. I just don't like having to get close to him. I think I got the other one too. Got that symbol. And there's that symbol. Got that one. Okay, so this is actually really good for taking the symbols out. Got that one. Come on. There you go. All the symbols are gone. Dang, that was actually really easy with this gun. Glad I took him to the boss fight. We'll grab the max ammo. Okay, I'll grab it right now. Better do the green circle step. Come on, big man. Finna take you down for one last time. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> the zombies are just too strong right now. Boom. 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 You can't touch me. Zap. I remember I did. Zap. <laughs> on, my, on my rave Easter egg video, I just kept saying zap. 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 Um, okay, another skull. I knew that one was about to finish. Let's go. I'll use the balloon trap on my last skulls that I have to do. Wait, can I just... I just did... I just... I can kill zombies with this? With this evade? Okay. Let's go. There we go. That one's done. The circle is over there. We gotta go over there to get it. Come on, big slasher. Right here, in the circle. Come on, big man. Bro, the way he freaking, like just freaking screeches like that. There's that symbol. There's that symbol. Oh my god, don't die. Go, 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 go. Stop being dumb. Stop trying to rush the boss fight. Stop trying to think that you're overpowered and that you can just survive every everything. You, can, you can't. You gotta be careful. I think I got that symbol. Got that one. Now he's better jump, that's why I did that evade. Come on, jump. See, called it. There's that symbol. Come on, big man. There's the last one. I'm grabbing that max. I'm going to the back one like I did before. Come on. Here we go. Now it's zapping time. Zap. Zap. Okay, now the final skulls. On my last skull, I'll use my balloon trap. Is there a third skull or is it just two? Okay, there's just two. Okay, I need some blue trap right now. Come on. I just felt like using it. Gotta make it interesting. That skull is gonna get fed so fast. Let's 
go. Come on, continue feeding. Come over here, zombies. We got to do this one. That one's not done over there. Now all the zombies are coming over here. Yeah, this one's done now. Come on. A balloon trap's still there. The balloon trap lasted a long time, bro. It will stay there for a while. Come on, zombies. And... The symbol's in the middle. I'm going around you, Slasher. <laughs> Give me that. Come on. Come over here, Slasher. Super Slasher. Let's go. Shoot the symbols off of him. This is it, boys. There's that symbol. Oh. There's the symbol. See, this makes it really easy. This shotgun's really good for this. Now I know what to friggin' use in these symbols. Kevin finally speaks in the boss fight. <laughs> and he gets hurt. Come on. Okay, I just did it when he's midair, bro. I never done that. <laughs> you see how he just paused in the midair? He's like, <laughs> oh wait, now she gotta shoot him, right? Get, 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 get. And he did. Let's go. Get spit on. Wait. Oh yeah, I can go up there now. I just shot Willard Wilder with the max ammo. Yeah, it will. So cute. But that's not what we came for. We came for the freaking talisman. Hello. There it is, boys. And it has the symbol for this map. See, it is like that. The symbol for the map that you're playing goes with the talisman. And then you have the symbols for all the other maps around it. Let's go. Director's cut two, you have you've obtained a talisman. There we go, there's the second one done. We got this, bro. These Easter eggs are way easier because of Director's cut. I can't wait to do the other ones and I really hope I can beat Mephistopheles. 